Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fadi in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a full screen navigation menu using Elementor page builder. So here on the top right if we click on this hamburger icon here we can see the beautiful full screen navigation menu with a background image also with the big navigation menu items. And if we hover over on it we can see some beautiful zoom in effect here. I will show you everything how to achieve that from scratch. Alright let's now close it and have a look once again. Now click on this hamburger, we can see the full screen navigation menu with a beautiful animation. Here we have got the beautiful hover animations. And then if we click on this X, it just simply slides up. Alright, I basically have divided this video into three different parts. First I will show you how to create this beautiful header. Basically I will be using an Elementor ready template. So that would be super easy task. And then I will show you how to create this beautiful full screen navigation menu using Elementor's pop-up. And then finally I will show you how to connect that pop-up with this header or with this hamburger menu. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is our wildlife page where we want to add that header with the navigation on the right side. And you know, to add a header, we just need to go to our WordPress dashboard, then from left bar, hover over on templates and then click on add new. Let's now choose the type to header and here I'm naming it full screen header. Now click on create template and like I said, we will be just using a template from Elementor library because in this tutorial, our main concern is to make that full screen navigation menu using pop-up. But if you want, you can create the header from scratch. For now, I'm just selecting this template. So click on insert. All right, we are good to go. Now from here, just click on publish. And then, you know, you can add some conditions like if you want to use this header on your entire website or any specific page. As I'm doing this only for tutorial purpose. So I want to add that only on a singular page. So from here, let's select pages. And from here, I'm selecting the page this one but this is only for me because i'm making the tutorial but if you want to apply the full screen menu on your whole website then just select the entire site option from here all right now click on save and close so if we now go back to our page and let's refresh the page here we go we can see our beautiful header here so let's now move into our step number two that's creating the full screen pop-up so to create a pop-up, just go back to our WordPress dashboard. Then from left, if we hover over on templates, from there, click on pop-ups. By the way, if you want to use the header option or this pop-ups option, then you should have Elementor Pro version. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but I will get a little commission for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Alright, so now to create a new pop-up, click here on add new. Let's now name this pop-up full screen pop-up. Now click here create template. And this time I don't want to use any template. I want to create the pop-up from scratch. So just click on this X. Now first to customize our pop-up from the very left bottom, click on this gear icon. Then set the width to VW and I'm making it 100 VW. Let's set the height to fit to screen. I'm setting the content position to sender. And from here, I don't want any overlay with it. I will also add some animation, but later. For now, let's just go under style tab. From here, the pop-up color. I mean the pop-up background color. Let's select the classic one. I'm making the background color to pure black color. All right, let's now design the pop-up section. So let's first click on this plus icon. From here, I'm taking the single column structure. Let's set its height to minimum height and I'm setting it 100 VH. Okay, now inside this section, if you want, you can just search for navigation menu. That's the nav menu. You can just simply drop it inside here. Then you can select your menu from this place like here I'm selecting the Pepsi menu. And then you can set the layout to vertical. You can make the alignment to centered. Then you know you can increase or decrease the font size. If you want you can do that you can play with this. But in this tutorial I want to do it in a different way. So first let's delete this nav menu widget from here. Instead I want to use the button widget. So let's just drag the button widget inside here. First I'm making the alignment to centered 
and here instead of click here i wanted to say about now go under the style tab first do a bit typography with it okay first of all i'm making the size in vw so i don't have to worry about its responsiveness and i'm making the size to 7.5 vw then font weight to 800 and let's set the line height to 0.6 Alright, and you know, I just wanna make the background color to transparent color. So from here, I'm dragging this bottom bar to very left. And also, I wanna make the text color to transparent color. So here, I'm again dragging this bar to the left. Because on normal state, instead of a solid color, I wanna add text stroke effect with the text. To apply that, just go under its advanced tab. And if you scroll down here, you will find the custom CSS option. We can just simply write the text stroke CSS snippet here or we can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this page's link in the description. From that page under text stroke CSS, we can just simply copy this line from here. Now go inside Elementor page builder and paste the CSS snippet here. Cool, here we can see the beautiful text stroke effect. And then if you want to add any hover effect with it, like on hover, I want to add a zoom in effect. So to apply that, we can just go to jimfahaddigital.com again. Then from under here, text zoom in on hover CSS. Just copy this snippet from here, go inside Elementor. Then after our existing CSS code, just paste the new CSS lines. Now have a look, if we hover over on this text, you see it's just zooming in. But with that, I also want to make its color pure white color. So to do it from here under this style tab, on the button hover state, let's make the text color to white color. Now if we hover over on the text, we can see the text color is changing, also it's zooming in. It looks really cool. Now I just want to duplicate it couple more time. So let's duplicate it one more time. Now the second one, I wanted to say reviews. Then the third one, let's make it contact. So far they are looking great. And then if you want to give your pop-up an unique or custom look, then you can also add a background image with it. So to do that, you can just simply select this section, go under its style tab. From here, background type, let's select an image. I'm selecting this fish image, click on insert media. Now from here position, let's set it to top left. Also from here, repeat to no repeat. All right, so we are almost done. Now the very last thing, I want to apply some animation with this whole pop-up and also with these navigation items. Alright, so let's first add the animation with the pop-up. To do that, again click on this gear icon. Then from here, we can see the entrance animation. I'm selecting it to slide in down, this one. And for the exit animation, I'm selecting slide out up. And then from here, animation duration. I'm setting it to 0.6. So when we will click on this hamburger icon, this whole pop-up will slide down after 0.6 seconds. And right after that, I want to apply some animation with this single menu items. So start with this one first, select it. From under its advanced tab, here is the motion effects. Let's set the entrance animation to slide in up this one. And you remember we have added 0.6 seconds delay on the pop-up. So here I want to add the animation delay to 0.7 second. But as here is the unit is ms, so here I'm writing 700 ms. So actually my goal is to showing each of these menu items one after another and then another. For that reason, on the second one, I will add the value to 800 ms and with the third one, I will add 900 ms. So let's just do it quickly, select this one, go under its advanced tab, from here motion effects, set the entrance animation to slide in up and here delay would be 800. Now let's select the third one, go to its advanced tab, from here motion effects, set the entrance animation to slide in up and here animation delay, let's set it to 900. Now I believe we are done, so click here on this publish button and then from here simply just click on save and close. 
So we have created our full screen pop-up. Now we need to link it to our header or with the hamburger menu. So to do it, just go inside our dashboard from left hover over on templates and just go to saved templates. Now from here, I'm just searching for our full screen header. So here I'm typing full screen and click on search template. So here, this one, this is our pop-up. But now I want to work with our header. So this one, this is the full screen header we have just created at the beginning of this tutorial. From here, just click on edit with Elementor. Then click here on this hamburger icon. Now from left here link, you can see pop-up. But in your case, you may not see this pop-up option. So I'm just closing it. So to find the pop-up option, you need to click here on this dynamic tags. And then here under the actions, click on pop-up. Now click over this pop-up again. Now from here pop-up, click on this all. And here type your pop-up name. So ours is full screen pop-up this template. Just select it. And then click on this green update button. Now let's go back to our main website page. Now refresh the page. Now if we click on this hamburger icon, then we can see our beautiful full screen navigation menu. So here everything is looking great, all the animation looks great. But here I just have noticed another thing, we can barely see this X icon on the top right corner. So to fix it, we can just go back to our pop-up builder. From here, again click on this gear icon. Now go under style tab, open the close button. Now I wanna make its color to white color and also let's increase its size a bit by dragging this bar to the right. All right, then again click on this update button and click on save and close. If we now go back to our main page and then refresh the page, this time if we click on the hamburger icon, everything is showing perfectly with all the animation. We can also see the X icon on the right clearly. And to check its responsiveness, just click here on this responsive mode. You see on the mobile device, they are looking great. And on the tablet device, they are also looking perfect. All right. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.